earrings, no? No, they don't have men's rings here to speak of. No coins. Not one. This is a stone place. Okay, there is the famous medallion. Pendant. What a great smile this guy has, huh? Very nice. Look at that beard. Is that a beautiful beard and face and smile? Look at the bells. I'm getting the full effect here now. That's great. Here's our table. We're going to be served sit down today. Here's a guy in a, a rest stop. We made a pit stop this morning and he is putting out uh, flower petals very carefully and spelling on the lawn here. Welcome. This is a, a lunch stop for another bus tour. We're making our morning pit stop here. And here is the Typical Ganesha elephant god, elephant face god. We're not even in, in the village, we're outside a village. Here's some more. Started by Emperor Akbar in 1565. So just after four years he started the construction of this fort. So at the same time, the construction work was going on in both the places. But first he completed this fort at Fatpur Sikri, built it in eight years time. But due to the lack of water, shortage of water and some political reason, he shifted his capital to Lahore and at last he came back to Agra. And Agra and Mehel means the palace. This is the Fatpur Sikri palace. And from the ghost city, 30 so kilometers outside of Agra. Climbing up, going up on the top there, to get a good view of the city, as well as to get a good breeze, sunshine, sunset, moonlight, different points of views of watching the buildings and the city purpose over there, climbing up in the building. A game of peace. <laughs> we all know this game very well. Yeah. When those days, this spent time. Serpentine, it's a design like a crocodile. Crocodile. Yes, crocodile. If you see it on either side of the column, we can look at this as a part of the face of the elephant. See that? Yeah. Mouth open with the trunk cup. It's a sign of a good luck and prosperity, whereas in Hindu religion, it's a god Ganesh, son of a Lord Shiva. Ganesha. So that's a part, it's a small little kiosk, a seat of the treasurer being a typical Hindu text, it also includes in that where you can see the ceiling part of it. When you look at it from the distance, it gives you a feeling it's a work is done on the wood. Some places the columns are being nicely designed, it's like basically designed what we call it, it's like a work of the filigree, but that's all the work looks like it's done on the wood. But the sandstone is very soft when they bring it from the quarries, but the time remaining it gets harder, it's difficult to work on it. So whatever the work is done of the screen, of the relief, of the arches, like work this one, you cannot do it on the piece which is like 10 years old. You can only do it the work when the piece is fresh, it's easy to do the carving, softness of the sandstone is quite soft so you can do it easily the work. By the name of Dine Ilahi. Dine Ilahi for the new concept of Emperor Akbar means joining and finding all four religions in one place. But it was not a successful idea of Emperor Akbar. Even in those days, the majority of the Hindu religion was bigger than the Muslim. So this religion was only the existence of the Emperor Akbar. A lot of water here. And then they had a system of the Persian wheel with the men power. They used to run those wheels to fly, to get the flow of the water from one channel to another. Right. And this is the part, it's on a big artificial lake where the yellow flowers on the field as well as the wheat are on over here. Lentils, all sort of like 
things have been, crops have been done on the walls, onto the fields here. And that's a minaret. That's a minaret which you see. It. That's a Minarets. tower behind. <laughs> the milestone from the city. Mm -hmm. On the, of the water, and the third one, fourth one, so like that, cleans up the water automatically in there. Mm. What, what was the um, quantity of water they could put in here? Any idea? When you can see, it's, it's still it's quite deep. It's yeah. like uh, around like five to six feet like, in there, the water. So well, that's a place like they can have. Yeah. They don't very much like underground. But in those days where they had a system to get the water wheel on the top, and they used to run it like that, like you do it for the punkas, you know? Right. So that's how the way they used to get the water from the ground. And what was the population here in the palace? And it was as big as in those days as in London. Oh. It was around like 40 to 40, 50,000, 60,000 people on these living lands. under these lands. And there was enough water for 40,000 people. That. Enough okay. water for and that. Is it as far as you can see that you considered this kingdom? Or? Yes, yes. As well as you can see, the bridge has been built later yeah. on. Otherwise, all the way up to the last, you know, where you can see still the sandstone has mm -hmm. been brought a lot mm -hmm. from these quarries mm -hmm. there. You can see it's over here. Well, the next stop will be only after one and a half hours, two hours. But it's yeah. Indian style, not to complain about it. Anybody likes to go? Is that the last one? I think I might do that. Go find a facility. Are never in a straight line. They're always in L shape. A person standing outside at the first gate, you cannot see what's going on inside in the palace. So that's how the way. There's a welcome place in between the two gates. So people, they have to wait in the center. When they get the permission, ladies walk behind the curtains, then only one can enter inside. In the well, we are in the most beautiful hotel we've been in so far. I've got two minutes left on this tape, so I'm going to be prepared to load. We are going to the Taj Mahal this morning. Everybody, this is going to be fantastic. Well, it's about 6.30 a.m. right now. The sun hasn't come up yet. This is the dome. It's not enough light, is it? For this camera there is, it's coming out very bright. We've just come through that gate where there are 11 domes on top of the gate into this hall. Okay, the sun is just coming up now. About another 10 minutes we'll have uh, a good view of sunlight. One of the side mosques there. Uh, tape now. Get a shot of the folks here. Okay, Folka, this is it. What do you think? I'm shooting. You can talk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll be going out from this point. Yeah. Right, the video camera. You going to take care. You have to deposit them inside. You can't leave it. You, you can't take it in there. Yeah. Leave it. Just leave it. Just leave it. Okay, I, 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 we can't take the video camera any further, but what do you think? Is this a, uh, isn't it amazing? I'm just going gonna, gonna to continue shooting. <laughs> I'm going to continue shooting until this, this tape. No, don't, don't go away. This, this tape is almost over. When the tape is over, I'm going to stop. Maybe it doesn't tell us when. No, it's, it's still flashing. Okay, Charlene, this is the end of this tape, so I'm, going, I'm just Say shooting good morning, until it's wake over. Up. <laughs> Come over here so the light is not behind you, like behind Fulker. This way, yeah. Better. So it's battery, your tape is... There you go. This tape is almost over. I'm taping oh. it. I've got about another 10 seconds on this tape. Oh, okay. So what, is the most what is the most <laughs> impressive uh, site for you in India? Taj. So this is it. Taj. This is it. Yeah. It's been a visited... Uh, because I've stopped counting how many times I visited, but yeah. it's every time you feel it, that just it's, that. it's marvelous. Yeah. 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 Inside, I just got up to one of the good poets who put it up, that is the uh, drop of the tears of love on the mark of the history. Uh, yeah. Looking said, yeah. at it.